Hi, this is Marcy and Connie, and we're here from 1033 Main Salon and Spa in beautiful Mumford, New York, to show you a quick and easy holiday style for shorter hair. And I'm gonna turn Connie around. You can see she's got an angled bob, or it's called a swing bob. And we're gonna work with that to create a style that almost is like an updo. And uh, I'm gonna start by sectioning off some hair at the front here, at the front and uh, top. I'm gonna work these back into the design. But this area here, I'm gonna keep out for now because I don't want to uh, put the volume in that so much. And I forgot to get out a clip. So I'm just gonna do a little quick bit of braiding here to, to keep this piece separate. All right, now I'm gonna start out by going through Connie's hair with a curling iron, this hair back here and this on the sides, and just curling it back. And uh, I'm gonna take a little time and do that now. And I'll come back to you when we have Curling that on. Connie's hair. I left one out. And there are a couple of things I want to show you and talk about. One thing is, um, we are going for volume through the top back here. And I wanna show you a little trick uh, that uses over direction to give you a curl that is a little more voluminous. And that is right here. I'm directing the hair forward before I put my curling iron in. And what that's going to do for me is let me really get some curl down at the base. And that's going to give this curl more height. And I'm just going to get the little ends worked in there and come back down. But that lets me get height right in here for that curl. So when you want more volume, uh, whether you're using a curling iron or even if you're doing rollers, that's, that's the way to get the best volume. Pull it forward and then roll it. And I want to show you another little thing. When you're curling short hair, and here we're going to have a transition. I already kind of did through here a little bit, but I, then I realized I should probably show you how we're going to get that transition from where her hair is not curled up into here. I'm going to take my comb, and this is great too if you're curling around the ears or the hair is short and you're a little prone to burn yourself. Put your comb under the hair and lift it up and keep your comb there between the curling iron and your skin. You'll never have to burn yourself again. And that puts in a little curl there, but not as much curl as it gets up here where we have more length. And that's going to create a little transition there for us. So again, just through there. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it puts a little wave in the hair between the straight and the curl. It gives it a little volume too. You can see that's kind of bringing out that stacked look there. So that's another little thing to learn. Now I want to show you the curling pattern that I used. I did not just go back and down. I more moved in an arc over the head so that here on the sides the curls are vertical. And then up here they're rolled back. But on both sides the curling here is vertical because we're going to direct the hair this way. I haven't done this yet, but now I'm ready to get in there and start building the volume. We're going to do a little teasing. And this is going to make her look like she's got much more hair. And I'm just going to move through the top teasing. You'll notice I didn't necessarily want to put in a very tight curl. I kept it, kept it with a regular, I forget it, I think that's a 5 8 inch iron that I used. And we're just going to go ahead and tease all of this. So I'm going to go through all of this hair and put some more teasing into it. And then I'll show you how we're going to direct the hair and uh, give her that look like she might actually have Funny enough story. Connie said when I showed her her hair all teased out, didn't I pin a hairdo like this for Halloween? And I think she might be right. It's got a little Bride of Frankenstein or Bride of Chucky vibe, but we're going to improve it. I'm going to take a little bit of a working spray, and this time I'm using Daily Shape by ISO. And I'm just going to spray through it. We do want it to have some hold, and we want it to, to be able to uh, be flexible at the same time. So that's why I'm using a working spray. This is not one that locks the hair into shape. And now I'm going to gently smooth it back on the sides. You 
it still has some nice volume. We're going to bring that back, bring the top up and back. I want to smooth it out. I'm not necessarily looking for curl. That was more to give me uh, the volume that I want. I'm going to put that in. And oh, it looks like I forgot a piece up here. So I'm going to tease this a little bit here and direct it back at the same time. We're going to smooth this all back. And we've made a nice bouffant style here. Not too worried about the front yet. Not that I ever worry. But we're going to work with that a little bit separately. We want to smooth this out and build volume. Right in here. So, I'm going to continue to work with this and smooth that out until I get it exactly where I want it. And then I'm going to come back and show you what we're going to do with the front. But you can already see we're getting a nice shape there. If that's too much volume for you, you can always kind of bring it down, pat it down, and move it into shape. And that's the nice thing about that teasing under there is it actually gives you nice control of the hair. Alright, so I'm going to work with this a little bit more. And I'll be right back to show you the what I've done is direct the sides back. I don't want too much volume right through here. So I brought those in, smoothed out the top, and then we put a little hair band over it. It has a pretty bow. You could also, even if you have a nice pretty ribbon, tie the ribbon around and, and put that in there. But I, I had come across this and I kind of liked it. So I left a little piece of hair down here, which we did previously curl. And all I'm going to do is use that to cover up her headband. And the way we're going to do that is to put a little bit of teasing, but again, I don't want too much volume. So it's a little for control. And bring that back where I want it. It's already starting to smooth into the hair. I also don't want it to look too, you know, too vintage, too smooth, too dated. Because hair textures now are a little more rough and a little more broken. But I get that in. I'm going to hit it with some hairspray. And you'll notice I moved the spray through the hair, and this is Be Confident by Benny Factor. It's a nice light working spray. But I'm moving from the roots in the direction that I want the hair to move. So we'll get nice hold that way. But that uh, Be Confident spray is, is also a working spray, so it doesn't necessarily lock the hair in. I'm just going to use my comb to kind of break it up a little bit. So there's the side. And we've covered up that little hair band. Let me bring this down a little bit more in line. All right, and you can see on the back, just directed everything into the center. This has got nice volume through there. And now, on the front. I kind of smoothed this, smoothed this over. I don't want a lot of volume here, but I do want some movement. So. I'm going to leave that little curled piece down and give it a nice finish. What I'm going to do with my curling iron is actually not curl the whole thing. And in fact, you'll see I'm using it just to put a little bend in the end. And what I've done is slide it and as I come down, just gently close it, put a little bend in there. And that's going to give us something to work with. I might bring it up a little bit more. But again, start the, start the curling iron moving. I don't necessarily need to clamp down on it. I just want a little bend. And I'm going to do the same thing up here. can come up a little higher here because it will give it a nice wave through the front probably. And just slide through just to put the bend in. Now, if you find you have too much bend, just pull it out a little bit while it's still warm, and that'll loosen it up. If you have perfect bend, let it cool in that position before you try to pull it out and work with it. Now, I can uh, take advantage of that little bend there to give her a nice little swoop. You could just bring this back and tuck it under that headband, or if you're going to put a ribbon, tie the ribbon over it. But I'm just going to put a little teasing in the ends. 
and again direct it back over the hairband. Just lay that in a little bit. Beautiful. That was nice and easy. <laughs> so, and again, just a little spray here with the Be Confident. You could also use the ISO Daily Shape, that'll be fine. And a little spray on your bangs, but I don't want to smooth them out too much. And we even can come in here with the tail of a, of a rat tail comb, just to give it a little more break up the texture, a little more movement. So for everybody who thinks that you can't put short hair up and make it look festive for the holidays, here is another way for you to look great and feel great. Here's a full 360 for you. Look great, feel great, and have a great day. Thanks for watching.